this is Gina. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. In cooperation with JRP Designs, JP from JRP Designs and I have decided to kind of design a piece together. However, we're not designing the same piece together. She has made a bracelet, she designed a component for that bracelet, and I'm making a necklace. <clears throat> I will be using the same component that she used in her bracelet. So you will watch her video to learn how to make the component and of course you can make the bracelet and then come back here and um, you will use the components to make this necklace. Now, I have connected my necklace differently than she connects her bracelet and that's just the difference in artistic designing and also it has a lot to do with the fact that she used doe beads and I don't have any. <laughs> not on hand right now. So I have connected mine differently, put my own little spin to it, and she has made her piece with the component she designed and put her little spin on that. They are matching in the sense that the components are the same. So this is the necklace that I have designed with her component. This is her component. I will show you how to connect them together. And like I said, you will watch her video to make the components. Now let's look at the component she made. This is what the component looks like. This is what it looks like on the back. Now I have used different colors. Today I'm going to use this combination of colors. And of course I used this combination in um, my other one, in my original design. However, she is using browns and blacks and um, I think she has actually named hers her bracelet according to the colors that she used but um, I have made mine in completely different colors of course you can make them in the colors she did and the colors I did and the colors you want the colors don't really matter it's still the same component so I'm going to show you what you're going to need for this today and I will put exact numbers in caption or in the description box underneath the video as I don't have exact numbers at the moment. Now I am going to use today a flamingo colored um, super duo and this is pearlized and then I'm going to use 11 o seed beads and this is a Toho and it is the galvanized silver tone and then I'm going to use four millimeter round fire polish beads these are hematite colored um, four millimeter round fire polish and then you will need a clasp and I'm just using this little rhinestone um, encrusted magnetic clasp today okay, so, so to begin this necklace you're going to make eight components following JP's uh, video and then with the first six of your components you are going to well there we go the first six of your components you're going to use about an arm's length of thread and then you're going to finish your last step which is going through the um, super duos and adding five seed beads in between you're going to sew around that and secure it and then you're going to knot off and trim off your thread for six of them. For two of them, you're going to go ahead, go through, secure it, knot, and the, to secure it and, and finish it, but do not cut off your thread. You will then sew up, you'll be coming, you'll be going through the bottom hole of the Super Duo. You'll go around, you'll secure it, tie a little knot right here, and then go through the Super Duo, hop up into the top hole. Then you can sew through the two little um, 11 o seed beads and through the fire polish bead. You want to do this, if you look on the other side, you want to do this, come out of the inside of a fire polish bead where there is one super duo right here. If you look, it's square shaped. We want to put our first one in a diamond, so we're going to come out of the corner of the square here. And that is where there is one super duo and two fire polish beads. On the sides, there's three super duos and two fire polish beads. And we will ma be making connections on this side, but our first two we put together will be on the corner so that they hang in a diagonal shape. So 
We're coming out of the inside of the Super Duo here with our long thread. And then we have another one. And we will be coming out of the outside of the Super Duo where there is one, but we'll be coming through facing where there's three Super Duos. So you'll just sew up through until you exit one of your Super Duos on the opposite side of where you're going to connect with this one. So we're going to line them up like this so you'll want your thread coming out here on the inside and here on the outside. Okay, let's get started. So I have got my needle on my long thread on this unit right here. You find it right here. I'm coming out of the inside of this fire polish bead right here. I'm going to lay this one on top so we have some reference. Right like this. This thread I can just put over to the side. I'll put a pair of long nose pliers or something on it to kind of weight it down so it doesn't get mixed up with my other thread. And then I will begin joining these two by picking up two 11 of seed beads, or three 11 of seed beads, excuse me onto my needle like this. I'm coming out of this little fire polish bead. Now with these particular components I found when I was trying to design something with them that the way that the fire polish beads lie on the Super Duo it's difficult to get in and out of the Super Duo. So I've made my connections by bypassing the Super Duos. So what I'm going to do is go I'm coming out here I'm going to go pick up 311 seed beads and go into this fire polish bead here and bypass the Super Duo and lie and lay the three little seed beads on top like this. And then I need to connect from here to here. So I'm going to pick up two 11 0 seed beads and a fire polish bead and two 11 0 seed beads just like this. And I'm going to drop them down. and I'm coming out of this fire polish bead here, I'm going to go into this one here. It's easier if you lay, lay them down, and this is facing me, so it, this will be opposite for you. Just like this. Now, we're coming out of this fire polish bead, we're going to pick up three 11 of seed beads. Just like this. We're going to bypass the Super Duo and go into the fire polish bead next to it. Just the fire polish bead. Just like this. Mm. Try not to tangle them. There we go. Sorry about that. That was a big mess. I'm just going to go just like this. So all I've done is add three little 11 of seed beads over the top of my Super Duo. And then we're going to pick up two 11 of seed beads, a fire polish bead, and two 11 of seed beads. And we're coming out of this side of the fire polish bead we're going to go into this side of the opposite component fire polish bead. And we're going to try to pick up the first two 11 of seed beads in the bridge over the Super Duo. So we'll be exiting the middle 11 of seed bead. Now at this point you want to make sure that these two connections are nice and tight. And then we will connect in the middle by adding one fire polish bead onto a needle. We're coming out of this side of this little 11 0 seed bead. We're going to go into the middle seed bead on this component and just the middle seed bead of the bridge we created. And pull the fire polish bead down against them. Pick up one more fire polish bead onto your needle. You're coming out of this 11 0 seed bead you're going to go into the same side on the opposite component in the middle seed bead and pull. Just like that. That kind of poofs up 
gives it some uh, dimension in the connections. Now, we're coming out of this little 11 seed bead. We're going to sew through this fire polish bead, through the middle 11 here, through the fire polish, and back through the middle 11 simply because we need to tighten our connection. So we're going to go ahead and sew back through. I'm going to pick this up so I can handle it a little better. I'm going to go through this 11 0. As you do this, as you come through each bead, you need to pull. Otherwise, your connection will be loose and funny looking. So make sure you tighten as you go through each bead. Come back up. and then sew through the middle here. And then I'm going to go through this fire polish, we went through this 11 out here, we're going to go through this fire polish bead here. Now I've got my thread coming out of this side. I was hoping when I finished my connection that I would be coming out of this side. However, it didn't work out that way. So I'm going to sew all the way around until I can get to this side here so that this thread is available to make this side of the necklace and this thread is available to make this side of the necklace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up through these two little 11 of seat beads on the side. And then through the fire or the super duo up through the two little seed beads and up through the fire polish bead. I'm going to pick up three eleven oh seed beads, or actually, I'm going to go ahead and sew through this connection. These are very difficult to get through, so you just have to take your time. And we will bypass most of them, but since my threads are crossed, I need to uncross them. And you can make sure that when you start, your uh, thread is coming out over here so that you don't have to go through this step. I've done it twice, and both times I ended up on the same side. So I give up, and I'm just going to sew until I'm where I want to be. Try not to crush your threads and just keep working until you get all the way to the other side. Okay, so now I've just worked my way all the way up around until I am exiting. And you can, on the, this fire polish bead here, this is the way we want to look before we start our necklace portion. We want to have a thread coming out of this fire polish bead and a thread coming out of this fire polish bead, one super duo in the middle, just like that. So you can position your threads like that before you get started, or if you find that your threads are not in the right position like mine weren't, then you can sew around until you are exiting correctly. Both of your threads are coming out of the fire polish beads. Now we are going to start our next connection. We're going to, since our thread is on this, or our needle is on this thread, we're going to start working this way. So we're going to pick up one of our components. And now we are going to make our components connect where there are three super duos instead of right on the corner here where there's one. We're going to connect from this 
fire polish bead to this one. We'll bypass this little super duo that's down on the bottom and connect through this side. So position your next component so that it is in the proper position. You have three super duos here and here, and then your fire polish beads are lined up. Now, to get in the proper position to connect this, we need we're coming out of this super or out of this fire polish bead. We need to sew down into these two 11 o seed beads, just like this. Pull the thread through. Then we will pick up three 11 o seed beads and we will bypass this little kind of sunken um, super duo. And we'll go into the 11 o's on the other side, right here. Now, instead of our connections puffing up, our connections will now sink in because our um, super duos are lower on this. So now we're coming out of this little 11 out here. We're going to go through the fire polish bead. Ah, crossed my thread. Like this. Now I need to make sure that this is lying correctly, that we've got side to side, not corner to corner, and we will pick up, let me get this thread weighted down over here so it's not in my way, and we're going to pick up two 11 o seed beads, a fire polish bead, and two 11 o seed beads. We're coming from this fire polish bead on the outside, we're going to go into this fire polish bead on the outside and through the two 11 O's on the other side of the fire polish bead. And now we are where a super duo is. We're going to bypass it by picking up three 11 O seed beads. And then we're going to go over the super duo and into the 11 O's on the other side of it, right here. And come up through the fire polish bead and pull everything so the connection is nice and tight. And now we're going to connect this side. So we're going to pick up two 11 o seed beads, a fire polish bead, and two 11 o seed beads. We're coming out of this side of this fire polish bead. We're going to go into the side of this fire polish bead and pick up your piece and go through the seed beads on either side and then up through the middle seed bead and the bridge we created right here. So you are exiting the middle seed bead and the little bridge we created. You will pick up one fire polish bead. You're coming out of the middle little seed bead here. See how it's kind of sunken in now? We're going to go into the middle seed bead on the next component, the one we're connecting. And just place the fire polish bead in. Pick up another fire polish bead and then go into the middle seed bead on the first component on the same side of the 11 o just like this. So this is what you will have. Now we're going to sew through this entire connection to uh, tighten it and secure it and make it nice and neat. So as you pull through each bead, you will make a nice little tight pull there. So we're coming out of the fire polish bead now. We'll go through the middle one. We're just sewing around these four beads in the center here. Back into the fire polish bead right here. Into the 11 o on the bottom here. Now those will just kind of cave in like that. And we're going to go ahead and sew up 
the fire polish bead. We're going to sew into the 11 O in the center. We're going to sew back up through the 11 O's on either side of the fire polish, all three of these, and push through the fire polish bead. We are then going to bypass this super duo bead right here by picking up three 11 O seed beads. And we're going to go into the fire polish bead. And the ones, the super duos that have 11 O's next to them, we can sew through. So we'll just go down through the um, 11 O's, go through the super duo right here. And if you can grab the 11 O's, grab them. If you can't, that's okay too. I got all the way through all of them. I want to exit up by this um, fire polish bead. Now we need to pick up three 11 O's and bypass this super duo here. It can get confusing where you're going to make your next connection, so you just want to make sure that you know that as you're making it, this one is going to stay down. This is your very bottom of your necklace that will hang down towards your chest. So now we want to sew all the way until we get all the way to the side because now we're going to create a V. So we want to finish the side of our V here. So you want to make sure that you're coming out of this fire polish bead here. Then when we make this side, we'll go up this direction. Okay? So, you know that you're going to make your next connection here. However, we need to sew down through these two little 11 O's so we can make our little peak in the middle to join with, make our little bridge. So now we're going to pick up three 11 O seed beads. We're going to bypass the Super Duo, sew up through two Super Duos and the Fire Polish bead on the other side, or not two Super Duos, go over the top of the Super, super Duo, sew into the two 11 O's and into the Fire Polish bead. And then you're going to be exiting the Fire Polish bead on the outside here. We're going to grab our next component, we're going to pick up two. 11 of seed beads, a fire polish bead, and two 11 of seed beads. We are coming out of this fire polish bead. We are going to go into this fire polish bead here. We are then going to sew into the two 11 of seed beads right after the fire polish bead. It's easier once you're in the fire polish bead to stay in there and get the 11 O's, but it can be done otherwise too. There you go, just like that. Now we're going to bypass the Super Duel. Pick up three 11 O's seed beads. Go over the top of the Super Duel, through the two 11 O's, and through the fire polish bead. Pull tight and bring it in towards the piece you're working on, just like this. Now, make sure that the, your connection is tight, and we're going to connect this side. So we're going to pick up two 11 of seed beads, and a fire polish bead, and two 11 of seed beads. We are then going to come from this fire polish bead to this one, and pick up the two fire, uh, 11 of behind it, if possible, right here, come through, sew up into the middle 11 O's. So we'll go through this one and this one. I'm going to make sure we're exiting the middle 11 O on top of the Super Duo, right here. And now we will pick up a fire polish bead.
we're coming from this 11L. We're going to go into the opposite component 11L in the middle here. Right here. Pull the 11 in, or the fire polish in. Pick up another fire polish. You're coming out of this 11 seed bead. Find the middle one on the first component here that you're uh, attaching to. Just like this. They will be laid out just like that. Now we're going to sew through the entire thing again. So we're going to go through, up through this fire polish bead. Give it a little tug. Make sure it's nice and neat. Go into the middle 11 0 here. Tug. Go through the fire polish bead. Go through the 11 0. And up through the fire polish bead again. And through the 11 0 here. So all I've done is sew in a circle. Now I'm exiting here in the middle 11 0. I'm going to come up through these three 11 0's and the fire polish bead. I am then going to bypass this super duo and pick up three 11 0 seed beads. And go into the super duo. Or not the super duo, the fire polish bead. And now I need to sew into these two here. I'm just working my way up the next component so I can add another one. So I'm going to go through these two 11 of's here. I'm going to go through the super duo. Remember, where there are 11 of's next to the super duos, you can sew through. Where there are fire polish beads, it's difficult and it's better to bypass it. If you think you can do it and you don't want to add those little 11 O's, that's fine too. But I just got tired of struggling with them. So I'm going to pick up three 11 O seed beads, bypass this um, little super duo. I'm going to go to the fire polish bead and the two 11 O's on the other side. And get my next component ready. And I am right here, coming out of my 11 O's. I am going to make my little peak that I can make my connection with. So I'm going to pick up my three 11 O's. I'm going to bypass the Super Duo, go into the 11 O's on the other side, and through the fire polish bead. And pull. Now, I am ready to put my next component on. I want to make sure that I line it up where there are three of the super duos together. So the side, not the corner, the side. So I'm going to pick up two 11 o seed beads, a fire polish bead, and two 11 o seed beads, just like this. I'm going to go to the outside corner of this fire polish bead and I'm going to pick up two 11 o seed beads. Just like that. Now I'm going to bypass that Super Duo and make my peak. So I'm going to pick up three 11 o seed beads. I'm going to bypass the Super Duo, go into the 11 o's and the Fire Polish and pull. I am now going to pick up three or two 11 o seed beads a fire polish bead and two 11 o seed beads. Come from this fire polish bead into this one and I'm going to pick up, oops, into the fire polish bead, there you go, and then pick up as many seed beads as I can. I can get two here. Pull my connection and get to my center here and go through until I am exiting the middle seed bead on top of the Super Duo. Well, there we go. 
Now we're going to add our fire polish beads and put it, the fire polish bead, you're going to go from the center of this one to the center bead on this unit. Pick up another Super Duo, or not Super Duo, fire polish, and then we're going to go from this middle bead here into this middle bead here and pull. Then, as we've done with all the other units, we're just going to sew a nice little circle and secure them, just as we've been doing. Nothing new, nothing different. I'll come back up through, go through the 11 L in the middle here, sew up through the two 11 L's, actually there's three, and then up through the fire polish bead. And here where there's a super duo between two fire polish beads, I'm going to pick up three 11 0 seed beads and go into the fire polish bead and bypass the super duo. Then I'm going to go down into the 11 0s into the super duo, into the 11 L's and the fire polish, just sewing up to the top here. And I am going to pick up three 11 O's and bypass this super duo that's between the fire polish beads. And at this point, I'm going to stop. I'm going to take my needle off. And I will put it on this side and connect my next three on this side exactly as I did on that side. So we will put our needle on. We'll sew through these little 11 O seed beads here, bypass the super duel, sew up through these, sew through the fire polish, and begin our connection again with our component like this. And we will sew up around the outside, or the inside actually, like we did here. And we will add all three of our remaining components back off and end with your thread up here. So around until you get up here and you're exiting just like you are on this side and we'll be back. Okay, so I have finished my other side of my necklace, putting my three components on. Let me back off a little bit here. I'm coming out now of this fire polish bead here on this side and out of this fire polish here on this side. My needle is on this side, so this is the side I'm going to start on. Both sides look exactly the same, and each are exiting on the inside fire polish bead here and towards the inside of the fire polish bead. So, right here. Let's get up here. Now, here's where my thread is coming out, and we're going to do a little bit different. We're going to do a little connection here, and then we're going to start this portion of the necklace. So what we need to do is we need to get to the outside of this fire polish bead. So we're going to sew, we're coming out of here, we're going to sew through these two 11 O's right here. Let's get a little bit closer so you can see. Right through these two. If I can pick them up, there we go. And through the, um, Super Duo this time. We're not going to bypass it. We're going to go through it. And then we're going to go through these two 11 O's and exit this fire polish bead here. Okay. So now we're going to pick up five seed beads, 11 O's. And we're going to pick up a Super Duo. Make sure your Super Duo is open on both sides. We're going to drop these down and we're going to pick up five more 11 O seed beads onto our needle. 
like this. Now we're coming out of here, we're going to go into this fire polish bead here. And we are going to go through the 11 of seed beads on the other side of the fire polish bead. Just kind of pull that connection back as it pulls up. Then go through the Super Duo and the 11 O's on the other side of it. This. Go through the fire polish bead. And this is what you should have. Now we're going to sew up the five 11 O's and exit the Super Duo. Hold tight, make sure everything's secure. Now, I'm going to turn this around so I can get to it better. I'm coming out of the bottom of the Super Duo here. I'm going to hop up into the top. Oops. Just like that. I'm going to pick up three more Super Duos. Make sure both sides are open on your Super Duos. And you're coming out of this side of the Super Duo. We're going to go into this side and pull them around. Now we're going to sew back through these, all three of them in the same hole here. And then back into the fourth one on the unit. And then we're going to sew down into the first hole. So we're coming out of this hole here. We're going to go down into this hole. Make sure everything is nice and secure. Give it a nice tug. And then pick up a fire polish bead. Okay, so we're coming out here. We're going to sew into this Super Duo in the second hole. On the top holes now. And pop your fire polish bead in. And again, here. And again, here. And here. Now you're going to sew into the fire polish bead here, into the super duo here, and the fire polish bead here. Now we're going to begin making our little um, connection that goes up around our neck. So we're coming out of the fire polish bead here. And we're going to pick up an 11 0 seed bead, fire polish bead, an 11 0 seed bead, a fire polish bead, an 11 0 seed bead, and a fire polish bead, an 11 0 seed bead, fire polish bead, and an 11 0 seed bead. No, no 11 0. Like this. You're going to have four fire polish beads and four 11 0 seed beads. You start with an 11 0 and end with a, a fire polish like that. Drop it down. Pick up a super duo. Drop it down. Pick up a fire polish bead. And then pick up an 11 0, a fire polish bead, an 11 0, a fire polish bead, an 11 0, a fire polish bead and an 11 0. So, like this. And then we will come in through this fire polish bead again on the opposite side, just like this. Now we need to sew back through, so we're going to go into this super duo here, right here into the fire polish bead, into the super duo, into the fire polish bead, super duo, and fire polish.
And now we are going to sew up all of these beads until we get to our fire polish bead, our super doodle. So we're just going to come up all of these beads. Make sure you don't miss any. And now we're going to hop up into the top. Now we're going to pick up a series of fire polish beads and 11 of seed beads and it's going to end up to be, we'll start with the fire polish, we'll end with an 11 O, and we will put 11 fire polish beads on our needle. So we'll pick up a fire polish and 11 O, and just continue until you have 11 fire polish beads with um, 11 O's in between. And this is what that should look like. 11 fire polish beads and um, you will start with a fire polish bead and end with an 11 0 just like that. Then you'll pick up a super duel and you'll do the same thing on the other side. But this time you'll start with an 11 0 and you'll end with a fire polish bead. You'll have 11 fire polish beads on your um, thread. And this is what you should have. Just like this. And let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. Then we will come up into the super duo. And again, we're going to sew all the way up all of these beads on this side until we get back up to the new super duo we added. So just go through all of the beads. And if you'd like to, if you want to make sure it's more secure, you can always sew all the way down this side and back up again, too, if you'd like. But I'm just going to sew up one side. And then come up through my Super Duo, just like this. Make sure it's nice and secure and then I'm going to go into the top hole. And one more time, we are going to pick up 11 O's and then four fire polish beads. So an 11 O, a fire polish bead, an 11 O, a fire polish bead, an 11 O, a fire polish bead, 11 O, and a fire polish bead. this. We're going to start with a fire polish or with an 11 0 and end with an 11 0. So you're going to have five 11 0's and four fire polish beads on just like this. And you're going to pick up a super duel. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. 11 0, fire polish, 11 0, ah, come here. Fire polish, 11 0, fire polish, 11 0 fire polish and 11 O like this drop them down just like that come through the um, super duo again then sew up all of the beads until you can get back up to the top Come through the same hole of the Super Duo that you started in, like this. And then you're going to go into the top hole. Oh, come here. You're going to pick up two 11 O seed beads. 
end your clasp. Go through your clasp. Pick up two 11 ounce seed beads on the other side and go through your super duo. Sew around this five or six times and as, make it as secure as you can and then sew back down through your beadwork, back down through this side and then tie off somewhere in your where your either where this super duo connects or where this super duo connects just tie off on the thread bridge okay so we'll I'm going to show you what I mean I went ahead and sewn around this little connection several times to make my clasp secure I'm coming out of the top of the super duo I'm going to go into the bottom of the super duo right here and then through the 11 0 on the other side and then I'm going to sew down into my main body of work here and then I'm going to come through the super duo like this I'm going to go into the bottom hole of the super duo and I'm going to sew back down through these beads this makes it more secure and gives it another uh, thread to hold on to here since as we came up we went through the other side twice we'll go through this side now and that'll give it a double thread. Now we're going to go ahead and sew down into this one too. So I'm coming out, I'm going to go into the super duo, go into the bottom hole, sew down the entire length here. And then I'm going to grab a hold of this thread bridge right here, if you can see this, right between the 11 here and the Super Duo. And I'm just going to tie a little knot. And then I'm going to go through the Super Duo and I'm going to tie another knot on this thread bridge right here. And then I'm just going to go down into the bottom of the Super Duo. Sew around all of these Super Duos again. I'm going to cut my thread right here. And then I'm going to put a flame on it. It's a little bit long. I'm going to put a flame right here and curl it in and knot it and secure it just like that. And this is what this side will look like. Just like this. Now you are going to come over to the other side of your necklace. Put your needle on this thread and do exactly the same thing that you did on this side. Now if you need a little reference just rewind or just go back to the um, back up the video and just watch me do this side again and do this side. Do exactly the same thing then when you get to the other side just take your clasp in half and attach it. Okay so I have back. the other half of my back of my necklace and sewn through and tied it off and all that good stuff and this is what it looks like. This comes out to be right around 19 inches of necklace. You can always make the back portion longer, add more beads in each section if you want it to be a longer necklace or you can add less if you want it to be shorter. That's what that version looks like and this is again with the clear fire polish beads and the blue Super Duos looks like. They're kind of pretty little necklaces. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go check out um, 
JRP designs so that you can learn how to make the component. And have a good day.